Welcome students to another teaching and learning process on economics. I am Kolade Abiola, your instructor for today. You will be listening to teaching on theory of demand too. At the end of a lesson, the student will be able to 1. Mention types of demand, 2. Define competitive demand and explain the effects of increase and decrease in the price of goods such as Coca-Cola and Pepsi-Cola with the aid of a diagram. 3. Define joint or complementary demand and explain the effects of decrease and increase in the price of joint commodity such as petrol and car with the aid of a diagram. 4. Define composite demand and explain the effect of an increase in demand for a product that has a composite demand with a aid of a diagram. 5. Define derived demand. Types of demand. A. Competitive demand. B. Joint or complementary demand. C. Composite demand. D. Derived demand competitive demand this is the demand for a commodity that serve the same purpose or perform similar functions it also refers to demand for commodity which are close substitute for each other and such goods that are in competitive demand for examples are vombita milo butter and margarine Precedent and colgate paste, beef and chicken. A change in the price of one affects the demand for the other. The effect of an increase and decrease in the price of substitute goods such as Coca-Cola and Pepsi-Cola. Let us consider the first one which is a increase in the price of coca-cola and the effects on demand for pepsi cola the effect of the increase in the price of coca-cola is it causes consumer to consume less coca-cola to the demand for coca-cola will fall while the substitute good which is Pepsi Cola, the demand will increase, leading to increase in quantity demanded. This can be illustrated in the diagram below. Figure A diagram is Coca Cola, Figure B diagram is Pepsi Cola. When the price of Coca-Cola increases from P1 to P2, quantity demanded decreases from Q1 to Q2. The substitute good Pepsi-Cola, the demand will increase from DO to D1, and the quantity will increase from QO to Q1. Let us consider the second one decrease in the price of coca-cola and the effects on demand for pepsi one the demand for pepsi cola will decrease as it will be more relatively expensive and the demand for coca-cola will increase we can this also can be illustrated in the diagram below figure 2a coca-cola we can see that decrease in price from p1 to p ho demand for coca-cola will increase from qo to q1 while pepsi cola the demand will decrease from do to d1 and quantity from q ho to q1 
I hope that is clear. Note that there is a direct relationship between the price of commodity X and the demand for commodity Y, where X and Y are substitute commodity. They tend to have a positive cross elasticity. We are going for a short break now. Welcome back, students. From that short break, we shall continue our discussion on types of demand. The second type of demand is joint or complementary demand. This refers to commodities which are used together or needed together to satisfy a want. There is joint demand for true or more commodities when they must be consumed or used together such that without one, the other cannot satisfy a want. Such goods that are in joint demand, for examples, are cars and petrol, pens and ink, needle and thread, cars and tires, toothpaste and toothbrushes. A rise in the price of one leads to a fall in demand for the other, and while a decrease in the price of one leads to a rise in demand for other. The effects of decrease and increase in the price of joint commodity such as petrol and car. A. Decrease in the price of cars and their effects on the demand for petrol. A decrease in the price of cars as a result of decrease in import duty and cost of production will result to one, an increase in quantity demanded of cars, two, increase in the consumption of petrol. This can be illustrated in a diagram below. Figure a diagram cars figure b petrol a decrease in import duty and cost of production on cars results in a reduction in the price of cars from po to p1 and the quantity demanded of cars increases from qo to q1 we can see that in figure a diagram for cars but also cause a higher demand for consumption of petrol. From DO to D1, the price of petrol increases from PO to P1. We can also see that in figure B on petrol. Let us consider the second one. Increase in the price of cars and effects on the demand for petrol. The effects of the increase in price of cars on demand is 1. It will cause the demand for cars to fall. 2. The demand for petrol consumption will fall. This can be illustrated in a diagram below. Figure 2a, cars. Figure 2b, petrol. When the price of cars increases from OPO to OP1, the demand is reduced from OQO to OQ1. We can see that in figure 2A diagram on cars. The demand for petrol falls from OQ to Q1. As a result, the price of petrol also falls from OP to OP1. We can see that also in figure 2B on petrol. Thus, the prices of jointly demanded goods tend to move in opposite directions depending upon the degree of elasticity of demand for cars and the supply of petrol. Composite demand. This refers to the total or aggregate demand for a commodity which has several uses, so that an increase in the demand 
for one product leads to a fall in the supply of the other. The composite demand for timber is made up separate demand for making furniture, paper, houses, rubber for making shoes, belts, and raincoats, milk for making cheese, butter, and yogurt, land for farming or building houses. We are going for a short break now. Welcome back from that short break. We shall continue our discussion on types of demand. We shall recall the types of demand discussed earlier. A. Competitive demand. B. Joint or complementary demand. C. Composite demand. We shall continue from there. This refers to the total or aggregate demand for a commodity which has several uses so that an increase in the demand for one product leads to a fall in the supply of the other. The composite demand for timber is made of separate demand for making furniture, paper, and building houses. Rubber for making shoes, belts, and raincoats. Milk for making cheese, butter, and yogurt, and land for farming or building houses. The effects of an increase in demand for a product that has a composite demand. Composite demand for a product such as timber that has several uses for making furniture and building houses. An increase in demand for timber in building of houses will result to a fall in the supply of timber in the furniture industry. As timber is a composite product that has lots of several uses. This can be illustrated in the diagram below. 3A Timber for building house. 3B Timber for furniture. An increase in demand for timber for building houses will result to a fall in supply of timber in furniture industry as indicated in the diagram 3A and 3B above. Derive demand. This is the demand for a commodity which is not needed for direct satisfaction, but rather for the production of other goods. For example, the demand for labor and other factors of production helps to produce other goods and services. It is a demand which is influenced on the basis of final or intermediate products. We want to take some questions together now. Use such question at home as a practice question. One, using the appropriate example, explain the following types of demand. A, competitive demand. B, joint or complementary demand, C, composite demand, D, derived demand. In answering such question, ensure that you use the appropriate examples for each type of demand and also ensure that your example is more than one. Two. Mention two effects 
of decrease and increase in price of joint commodity on demand. 3. Mention two effects of increase and decrease in the price of Coca-Cola on demand. I hope these questions are clear. Ensure you practice them at home. Remain blessed. God bless you.